Hello, fellow Toastmasters. My name is Eva Gustafsson, and I am a VP of Public Relations of Calgary Paysetters Club here in Calgary. And I just jumped on the quick live call because I have many people are asking me where they can start with Toastmasters. So I'm going to be sharing with you short just to show you where you can find all information and where you can start. So in our club, we have meetings every Tuesday night at 7.15 p.m. until 9.05 p.m. So let me just introduce myself, how I started with Toastmasters and when I started and why I started. I started in January 2013. And why I'm saying January, really I started in February, but first three meetings, I went to check out different clubs. I went, I, my friend and myself, we searched through website of Toastmasters where we should, can attend. And my friend used to work downtown back then. So I thought, okay, let's go downtown and see if it works for us. So we went one evening, we spent there for uh, two hours. For me, it was quite a long uh, drive to go to uh, downtown. So then I decided to go to different clubs, uh, cl club closer to me during lunch break. It was only one hour uh, meeting with Toastmasters because some of the Toastmasters clubs are for two hours, some of them for one hour. So I went to that one as well. So I went to two meetings and then third meeting, I ended up in Chaparral. It's a uh, close by community next to me where I live. And I could go in the evening after my work, which was great. So I joined Toastmasters because I was terrified of public speaking. How many of us are really terrified of public speaking? Some people join because they want to learn leadership skills. Some people just want to improve their English. Some people want to really learn and master their speaking in front of people. So I joined because of my terrified or me being terrified in public. And as, even with two or three people, I had a hard time to speak in front of. So I thought, okay, I'm going to join and see what is it about. So I joined and I realized that in Chaparral, where I was, everyone finds their own club, but where I was or where I'm right now, I felt it was very casual and relaxing meeting. It wasn't too professional for me. But at the same time, there was many people who are speaking English as a second language. So we were really supporting and uh, learning from each other. So. I joined there in February 2013, and I'm there since then. What I'm learning through that, not only public speaking skills, speaking on the video, I'm learning as well organizational skills, how to organize events. I'm learning as well standing on my feet and thinking straight right when somebody's asking me questions. This was always challenging for me. Maybe comment below. If you are here, if you are watching this video, comment below what was your challenging thing and actually you grew through it and you learned more about that particular you learn how to actually go through it then what you can learn as i said organizing events evaluating that was struggle for me as well to evaluate or give feedback to people without hurting somebody because i'm coming i'm i'm from europe east europe and we usually say straight to the point as it is so here in the different culture i learned how to evaluate somebody with no offense with no judgment just to give them feedback what i saw they did really well and as well what how they can improve so so many skills you can learn through toastmasters now i'm going to share my screen with you and i want to show you where you can start when you come to Toastmasters or before you actually come to Toastmasters. So what do you do? Go to www.toastmasters.org and look at that. You can find your club in your city. So click on that. And I'm going to say, let's say, I'm going to point here at, for example, Woodbine. And of course, Calgary. I'll find Woodbine and it will find all clubs uh, in my radius 25 miles or 40 kilometers look at that how many how many clubs are around or in calgary or around i'm gonna go closer i'm gonna go two miles and it will show show me all clubs close by so you can find it in your area where you live and here we have few clubs give me one second 
Okay, this is scrolling quite fast, but that's how you can find your club. So here is one, let's say I'm gonna click on that. It's gonna give me information where, where you can find one of the clubs. Then another one, you can uh, go through magazine, you can go through education membership. There is so much you can look at, at uh, this website, Toastmasters website. So I really hope this video helped you. And this video helped you. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. We are happy to respond as soon as we can. And I hope we'll see you tonight at our meeting in Chaparral at 7.15. It's only a couple hours meeting. So we'll be happy to have you over and learn more about our Tab uh, table topics about evaluations, about chairperson, about Toastmaster skills, leadership, and so on. So come and join us. You can come for three meetings just to get a feel for it and think about it, what, how you feel in our club. If you like it, we are happy to welcome you and have you in our club. And if you feel like there is something different for you, you can always go and visit different clubs. So I hope to see you tonight at 7.15 in Chaparral. Have a great evening.